Hello, and welcome to the Underhive. Hello, and thank you for rejoining me here with Armand Hjalmar. So as I mentioned in the channel update, I quickly wanted just to mention, I will be still recording in 1080p 60fps, but I will be rendering in 4K. Now in terms of the video you'll be seeing on YouTube, as long as you've waited for HD processing, it will still show as 1080p 60fps. But the difference will be it has worked and allowed it to be encoded with VP9. So when we get out and about and we're in the forests and things, take a look at the trees at a distance versus the trees at a distance around 18 minutes in to episode 21. 18 minutes in, we kill a bear, we walk through the woods a bit, we kill a bandit or a few bandits and we walk through the woods a bit. The quality on those is not a true reflection of the quality of the recording. It's down to the encoder, but with this new situation, recording it, rendering it in 4K, it should now be clear. So it will take me a bit longer to get stuff out to you, but I think it's very important that the quality is there. If you didn't, then fair enough. I, I am so grateful that you're happy enough with the commentary and the just the overall content that that's not a gripe for you. Uh, I couldn't value that enough, so thank you so much for that. But if the quality does matter to you, then uh, you know I'm with you on that. I I think it's important that it's clear, not just in these up close bits, but when it's at a distance as well, because I think it robs you of the immersion if we don't have that quality going forward. So everything's going to be 4K until such a time as I might be fortunate enough to warrant the VP9 encoder just on a 1080p video. So thank you very much for, for supporting my transition into 4K. And that should mean, or rather my new scheduling should mean that it doesn't impact the, qu the quantity of videos that you see. It did affect it yesterday. I wanted to get a video out, but it, it took like one and a half times as long to render and the file size is about four times the size as it otherwise would have been. So as you can imagine, it took longer to upload and process, but it is processing now. So, you know, by the time this video is up, it'll have long since processed. So by all means, check that out if you want to. But now we are back with Hjalmar. We're not taking no for an answer. Just gonna straight in on Dorman. I'm just having all of them. I'm having all of them in here. I'm not just not not bothered. Go on, open the door, dealer. Come out and fight me. I'm just trying to shoot me through gaps. I'm just gonna kill all your patrons instead then. Come back for you in a minute. Like that. Right now, the the vampire in here is absolutely not a joke, and I'm not 100% how I want to deal with him. I think, I think it's warranted to go with the old vampire lord. So we're doing it. We still want all the perks for the Vampire Lord anyway, so we're going to go with that. Oh, there is. Oh, and he's straight in with fireballs. Yep, I knew I'd stood still there. So I need to double blast him straight up. Right, we'll get in the Lord form here. We'll get ourselves ready and charged with a gargoyle friend. Oof. Oh, 
Wow, the fire's done me. Don't raise the fireball, man, again. That's not on, is it? Didn't even have my spells out yet. Yeah, they're strong. They're real strong. I, I don't really want to use flames because it kind of goes against the vampire vibe. But we understand that that has a an effect on our enemy vampires. Is it relocated now? It has. I don't know what determines that because half the time it stays and half the time it doesn't. So we're gonna we're gonna try it again. We're gonna go Lord. And I should remember to use bats. I, I'm not using bats. Bang. Whoa, 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 whoa! He's just he just spams it. I can't I can't get two spells off that quickly. Yeah, he's gonna mince me again. Wow, that fire damage. Now I can get up there and kill him. I can get up there and kill him before he's a problem. Yeah, so we'll we'll come out this way. There's no no sneaky shortcut. Right. I think we'll sneak up on that guy first. Then we'll go into the Lord form. And we'll look to kill the vamp before the others can do anything. Oh, that's, that's hurt the gargoyle. That's not what I wanted. We do get lifeblood for that, though. We can sort of abuse that. Come on, gargoyle. Take him down. I don't know where he's gone. He's so strong, though. Yes. Right, he was he was the biggest issue. Him and the fireball man. These fellas shouldn't be much of a chat. Whoa, I say that. What? What are these like MLG thralls about? Oh yeah, juicy. I think we're going to go for it with the same strat as last time, but we're going to. We're going to go for chokehold on him, I think. Just to sort of put him out of out of action for a little bit. So he isn't down here now. Ah, 
All right, so he went up there. Pow! Oh, and I can't use potions here. Oh, you absolute cretin. Oh, it's got me again. <sighs> I think mayhaps we will stealth our way through this. That was the point of having the difficulty as it is not so that we can just decide to kill everything point is to complete the mission not necessarily eliminate every target although I'd have preferred to do that so we're going to use our supreme agility to try and sneak around here Doesn't know. the sound of your throat being sliced. where that is. He doesn't know where we are. Ah, the lever is there. So as long as he's not coming onto this platform, we should be able just to vault straight up there. We don't need to trifle with him. I don't like letting another vampire sort of triumph over us, but technically we didn't even try and fight him on this save. Thrall and a skeleton. I think we'll go for the Lord form on these. What was that? It was me. Oh, he's got fireballs. I know. Just uh, fire bolts, I believe. Take it, it's not a massive amount, but we'll take it. Ancient vampire. 
They're using ice. Oh, they're using lightning too. Use the uh, use the bottleneck. Yeah, that ancient vampire took less than a bit of a beating than the vampire vampire. <laughs> That, that enemy's got to be leveled automatically or something, like surely that's not anything to do with the mod. Because the mod changes whether they are like an ancient vampire or a standard vampire, for example. It doesn't just make vampires harder. Well, it doesn't make anything specifically harder by default. It just makes the enemies that appear at a higher level. And then the other mod modifies damage, so that should apply just equally, really. So why don't you just drink the blood from the spree? I mean, that seems easier than running a skooma den. The boss said it's some sort of profane spring. It looks like blood, but it's not the real thing. I'm the real thing. Get him in bottleneck. Oh, night nice stalker. Yeah, these thralls are no joke either. They're not like you just your baseline bandit. Lovely. Try and get another perk or so under our belt here. Oh, we've got one. I mean, we're never going to be able to use that. 1,500 magic a cost. And we're, we're not going to be, we're not going to be using that. So they're, they're neither in or there. That one's not terrible, but doesn't seem like it offers us that much benefit. Seems like really expensive for that. Yeah, we'll take that. So, I'm guessing the right hand spell is raised, because you never see that named anywhere. I'm not falling into your trap, fool. I am just not having it. Who's whispering from beyond the grave? So maybe you can telekinesis that. Not 100%. But we came from that way. Maybe the only way is down. I don't know why I'm taking rings. I'm not that bothered about money that I'm sort of selling everything I could anyway. Ah, the way down. It's a trap. All right, though we're not we're not very weak to poison anymore, if not resistant to it. I don't think we're 100% resistant though because of the damage multiplier. You can see we're still taking a bit of damage from that. So if it isn't there, which... Because that's... That's probably only going to take us to the same sort of place, but we'll try it. Oh dear! That wasn't good. Just get through. Oh. Yeah, so that, that only takes us back this way, as I thought. Right, we're coming out of we're coming out of Vampire Lord. Be 
bit easier to see what we're dealing with. Get a potion of blood going there. Running around like a maniac now. Ah, uh, maybe open this door too. Not reading Volpin's journal. Now we are going to go back to the Lord for this. way off. I mean, that, that regular vampire was, like, way tougher than even a master Mistwalker or Ancient. It was just super OP vampire man. And it sort of lured me into a false sense of insecurity, assuming that I need this for right now, but that's fine. Well, we'll... We'll avoid the traps with our levitation. Here we go. You're a blooded vampire, what do you owe? Ah, oh, then Vulpin. Well, you're no joke either. You've, I see you've got the best man on the doors, to be honest. Well, not on the doors, but on the way in. And if I'm honest, I can't fault you for that, because he did he did pose me a challenge, other than for him uh, not being the most observant character. But you can't fault him for that, you know. He's working in the old uh, skooma den. I'm not waiting for you to double cross me. I know what you're going to do. I know what you're here for. I called it before we started. Jokers. I haven't got any goods. Well, the sneaking in was the, uh, the hardest bit. Well, fighting our way in, but by sneaking in, we've managed to circumvent that. And we're not going to get through there. Oh, just give me the key, you whelp. And we are free. Now, that isn't my proudest victory, but a victory nonetheless. Oh, we didn't see this book on the way in. Well, we'll take it. Better than nothing. So, yeah, one I, I won't, like, walk all the way there. But if you can see that tree in the distance there, and that the leaves on it and stuff are, are proper... Obviously, Skyrim's a pretty old game, so I'm not suggesting this should be, like, next-gen. But you should be able to tell, as I run through the forest here, that the leaves on the on the trees further away 
aren't looking like they're in 360p. Whereas on the previous episode, and several of the ones before that, that was the case. Definitely over here somewhere. There he is. Oh, he's charged headlong into the tree there. Must have, must have caused some damage to his mind. Oh yeah, they're slayers. Well, we've got a long walk back to Castle Volcar. Is it? Volcar. So I shall see you when we have returned. Wonder if these high elves still see me as a threat. They ought to. Killed a few on the way. I'm not sure I'll leave that in though, it wasn't particularly interesting. We just drained the life out of them pretty quickly. Well, they haven't replaced the man on the doors. So, yeah. They probably remember the reason why there isn't a man on the door, so we'll give him a wide berth. Come, Harkon, we have returned. I see you have returned. As well you should have. I killed Welcome them. Welcome to the politics of Lord Harkon's court. Vingalmo and Ortheolf both long for our Lord's throne, but cannot make overt moves against him. Each sought to gain power by using his underling to kill you and keep the chalice for himself. By ensuring the chalice reaches our Lord, you have increased his power over them, and at the same time, deprive them of their little pets. You've done, Lord Harkon, two great services. Take what you've learned to heart, and be careful who you trust. Well, I don't trust anyone, no. Garen, so... I believe that Lord Harkon wishes to speak with you. Oh, I'm sure he does. Now take one of these barrels with me. Seems like they'd last longer than a blood potion. You're welcome here, as long as you don't overfeed on the thralls. <laughs> well, I'm going to do exactly that. Don't tell me what I can't do. How far are we off the next vampire level? Really like to get some resist fire as well soon. Still a decent chunk off it, so I'll, I'll not kill them all now. But you wish you could do that, don't you, Garen? My lord. You are here. Good.
You yes, wanted I to did. speak to me, Lord. When I told you that I was grateful for my daughter's safe return, I told the truth. But I did not tell you everything. That does not surprise me, Harkon. Good. Strong instincts and a cunning mind would serve you as well as blade, spell, or claw. As claw. you know, vampires are powerful, but we have limits. Our great enemy is the sun. And until recently, it's an enemy we've had no way to fight. For centuries, I searched for an answer to this problem. I found an old prophecy written by a moth priest. Those scholars who read the Elder Scrolls. The prophecy tells of a time in which vampires will gain power over the sun and will no longer fear its tyranny. I believe the secret to unraveling that prophecy is written in Serana's Elder Scroll. I have ordered the court to assemble. I have a new task for us all to carry out, and that includes you. Come now, and hear my proclamation. Yes, my lord. Are you following me, Father Serrano? Signs of the night, hear my words. The prophesied time is at last upon us. Soon we will claim dominion over the sun itself and forge a new realm of eternal darkness. Now that I have reclaimed one of my Elder Scrolls, we must find a moth priest to read it. I have spread false rumors about the discovery of an Elder Scroll in Skyrim. It's not really a false rumor, is it? You have got a scroll and so have I. Now it is time to see if those efforts have borne fruit. Go forth and search the land for rumors of a moth priest within our borders. Look to the cities. Point in. To in Look to the cities. Anyone who would meet a traveler. Go now and carry out this task. This is my command. It will be done, my lord. Most Any idea how you're going to find a moth priest? Skyrim's a pretty big place. Shut up, Serana. We're not interested in you. Well, so concludes. Another passage in the tale of Hjalmar. So thank you so much for watching. Now something I've wanted to put out there the whole way through, but haven't until now, is... Any idea how you're going to find a will you leave me alone, Serana? Is whether or not Harkon is responsible for having killed our former master. Now I did cover that in the prologue episode, which I've since deleted. Uh, by accident and it was just to say that uh, we had a former master when we were still human and they were wiped out by another vampire considerably more powerful than they were so the question is was that Harkon or could that just have been another member of his court completely out of his control and yeah, you know yeah, nothing to kind of oh please leave me alone you wench so, it's up to you to decide whether we would eventually want to side with Harkon, or whether we would be looking to do him over and take his crown. So, by all means, please comment in this video or any future videos, and let me know what you think. I'll sort of aggregate the responses, although there might not be that many, so that's fine. And we will just go with a majority vote, and we'll see whose side we end up on. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you next time in the Underhive.